Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and yes it is a wig install. I know how much you guys love this. So today I'll be using a wig from Wig Dealer. This is her straight Cambodian wig in 18 inches. I'm starting off by doing my wig cap and you guys already seen me do this. So um, I'm actually going to do it a new way. I'm going to use the glue instead of the spray and see um, if I like this method better. It's actually my first time doing it this way. I'm gonna apply the thinnest layer I could possibly can. I feel like it was still a little too thick for my liking, but it is what it is. I honestly won't be doing this method again. I'm gonna stick with my spray <laughs> because I didn't like how like it dried and shit, so yeah. I really did everything backwards for this install. Normally, I would pluck while the hair is wet but I was really trying everything different for some reason today. So while the bald cap was drying, I went in and I started to um, flat comb the part that I wanted to pluck. I started from the back this time and I just started plucking. Like guys, I don't have a method of plucking. I just pluck. Wherever I feel is dense, I pluck it until it looks like more of a scalp. And this wig did come pre-plucked, but I, you know, had to go in and tweak it to my liking, of course. The ball cap is finally somewhat dry, so I'm going in with these scissors. I think kitchen scissors are so much better than these regular scissors that we'd be buying to cut these caps, but yeah, um, I'm going in with these scissors and I'm going to cut off um, the excess cap part that I don't need. As y'all can see, like the glue didn't like dry the way it was supposed to. Like I feel like it's still tacky, but it's dry at the same time. I don't know. I think I put too much but yeah it's not supposed to look like that To hide that glue demarcation, I'm going to take my um, NARS foundation in color Molly and just go over that glue part with that. Um, it does kind of help a little bit. Not really, but it does. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that in the best of my ability to prepare myself to apply my wig. So I went ahead and I took off the adjustable strap because it just wasn't working for me. It was too tight on my head and I don't want anything tight on my head at all. So it fit perfectly and now I'm going back in with the Erica J glue and I'm only going to apply two layers because I don't plan on wearing this for too long. I do have another wig to install for you guys so that is why period. <laughs>
so now this bad boy is ready to be pulled down and applied so I'm just gonna pull it down apply the pressure and make it stick to the glue or whatever um, of course I always have issues with my ear tabs I don't know why they never stick the first time but um, I'm gonna go back in with some glue eventually and you know add it to the ear tab parts and of course tie it down and do all that good stuff everything else I do is gonna be pretty much self-explanatory so I'm not really gonna talk over it This wrap is an essential. It is also from the wig dealer. It didn't come as a set. I've had this for months now and it really does help melt in the lace. So I suggest or I recommend that everyone purchase this um, wrap as well as the spray. Definitely essential to laying your wigs down. This is like my least favorite part of um, wig installs for frontals. Once you cut that lace and it starts to look mad wiggish and ugly, like you think you slayed, but you really ain't slayed yet. <laughs> That's what it's given right now. Like it's given very, ugh. <laughs> so um, y'all probably like, ew, she not doing her thing, but she thinks she doing her thing. Yeah, I promise y'all it's gonna look way better. So just bear with me. Okay, so now I'm done talking for this voiceover because, like I said earlier, everything is pretty, like, repetitive and self-explanatory, and I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to hear my voice. <laughs> so, um, just enjoy the video, keep watching, watch me lay this wig or whatever, and stay tuned for my little mini review about this hair at the end, and I will see you all in my next video. I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas round me, I and it got it, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, 
two-time, baby girl, you know me Oh my, all the niggas round me Ride and ride, gotta watch the time Cause it's flying right by I just caught a shorty off a fitting and stuff Just the one I'm really is a great shot Inside a crib on my own Soon as I pick up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-time, baby girl, you know me Outside in a empty, right outside.
I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, TT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas around me, I in it, I Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, TT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Call the shorty off a fence, dog. Just the one I'm really a suppression. The way that I've been living, I'm conventional. I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know. Certain things have started getting pissed off. Think we need to have a sun and fish I could be a man, but maybe down the road. Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to gold. Rather see my heart turn crystal. Inside a crib on my own Soon as I freak up, I'm about to pop up on your phone Like, I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, PT Two-turn, baby girl, you know me Who am I? All the niggas around me Alright guys, so I finished up this install And this is how it came out There's still some things that need to be done to it is not how I really wanted it to come out but it'll do it's wearable so the wig is from wig dealer it is a medium cap Cambodian straight lace frontal wig in 18 inches and it was a total of $399 but there was a discount so I did end up getting $19.95 off and um, shipping was $15, so it just brought it up to $394.05. This wig I only got just because I was on her website. I was looking for a colored um, wig, but I went on her website and I saw this one. It was like, if you order this today, you get it by Wednesday. And I was in need of a wig. Oh, so I, I just purchased this wig. I was like, all right, if I order this today, I'm gonna get it by Wednesday. And you know what's crazy? It came the day before it was supposed to came anyways or the day before it was supposed to come anyways. So it all worked out. Let me tell y'all what I didn't like. I didn't like that I spent so much money on a wig and it came in just a dust bag. Like no goodies, nothing, like nothing. And I feel like once you buy a wig from wherever, you should get some type of goodies inside of it. You know what I'm saying? Like even if it's a, a, a hair clip or a, a freaking um cap ball cap or something like that nothing came in here i was highly disappointed i don't know if it's because it was like a buy this now and get it by then why it didn't come in like a nice package i'm big on packaging i love to see things come in a nice package you know i just feel like as a business the first thing people see is the packaging so you should have some type of appealing package and I was watching like previous like YouTube videos on like the wig dealer wigs and people got their stuff in boxes. So I don't know if this was like a mistake. Didn't get a box, nothing. It literally came in this, just a wig. And um, it came in a FedEx like plastic bag. This is the dust bag, very little. That's why when I saw this too, I was like, is there really a wig in here? Because I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not really sure how much density this is. I'm gonna go with 150. It looks like 150. I do wish it was a little fuller because I do like when I pull my hair to the front, it's just like full. It is a little thin for my liking, but it still works. The hair is quality here, I give you that. So even though it didn't come in package, it is quality. It didn't shed, there was no smell. Um, and it was very easy to work with. It came pre-plugged, as you guys see in the video. I didn't do any um, bleaching. That was all how it came. I did go back into it and, you know, pluck some to my liking. I believe the lace is transparent. And yeah, like, it's a, it's a cute on-the-go wig, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's basically it about this wig. I would definitely recommend y'all buying it. 
if you got the coins spend the coins on it and yeah because it's a steal definitely definitely a steal besides no packaging that is all i have to complain about <laughs> Everything else is perfect. It is a straight um, texture too. So the fact that it could curl like this, I didn't do um, any tight curls. I just did like these loose curls and they're still in. So I really like that about that too because we love hair that's straight, but you know, you could still manipulate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.